All right, let's learn how to crochet with supplies provided by the Mustang Public Library. Something to look at when you are out looking at your yarn is the side of the label it actually has quite a bit of information on it. So if you had just gone to the store and picked this up, you would see if you were, it says crochet on here. And for this yarn, you would want to use a five and a half uh, needle and it actually has size nine. So depending on the hooks that you have, um, it will have like this is an H and a five on here. So um, it very clearly will show you what sizes. It shows you um, the gauge and all of that stuff. So be sure to slow down when you're at the stores. You find the pretty color, but look at what you actually need to continue on with it. Okay, so we're gonna drape the yarn over our two fingers and then kind of pull up like this. Take the bottom yarn and pull it up so it's just a simple slip knot. Take the yarn and put it in the knot and tighten it down. And then this is a chain stitch, so we'll wrap it around, and then we're gonna hook, get the hook on that first piece of yarn and then through it, wrap it around, grab that first, and then through, around, and through. And this is a chain stitch, so you'll just do this until it is the length that you want. So whether you, whatever project you're working on, if a lap blanket or a scarf, do it however long you need, around and through. And then from here, we're just gonna do a little bit since it's just a sample. You don't wanna do this very first stitch, that's kind of your bridging stitch, but you will take the hook and go through this stitch right here. And this is gonna be a single crochet. You'll grab that yarn pull it through, yarn over with this, and then the hook will grab that yarn and pull it through both of those. And then you'll go to this next stitch right here, pull it through, and then the yarn is over there. We will grab that with the hook and pull it through. We've got two loops on top, yarn over and pull that through. About to do a different stitch there. Grab it, pull it through. We've got two on top, yarn over. Boop. Boop. I make sound effects at home by myself too. <laughs> I think that's the only way to do it. All right, so we go through, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over. We've got one back on there. Oh, I got on the tail there. All right, so then we finished that row. Okay, so we worked on the single crochet and now I'm going to show you the double crochet. So I wanted to lay these out so you could kind of see there's a little bit of a different pattern there. It's a little bit taller of a stitch versus just that one. And it goes a lot faster <laughs> if you're trying to get some length there. So, okay, so what you're gonna do when you've got your hook at the end, you're gonna yarn over and go through both of those stitches. Come back through, you'll have three loops on, yarn over, go through two of them and then you've got two on there yarn over and pull it through both so yarn over through the stitch top two of the stitch yarn over you go through two yarn over again and go through two more and we'll just do that all the way across yarn over through two yarn over through two Go. So this is the finished product. You can kind of see um, the pattern a little bit more when it gets large. It's harder to see on a small thing. So I wanted to show you both kind of what it looks like when you've been going for a while versus just starting so you don't get frustrated. 
Um, okay, so how it starts, it's gonna be a single crochet. So you'll put it through, over, and then you just do a chain like we did at the very beginning when you were starting your work. So you, and then you'll skip a stitch and go to the next stitch. So a single crochet, and then a chain stitch, skip one and go to the next one, and then chain, skip, go to the next, single crochet, chain, and then skip, go. Okay, and then you will just continue doing this till the end of your row. Okay, when you get to the end, you will just yarn over and pull it through, and that gives you a little lead stitch there at the end, and you will turn your work, and then you start again, just like you did the previous row. So we've turned our work and you will just continue your pattern until you get to the end of the row and you've finished your project. So just keep going. So these are the stitch markers and they look a lot like plastic safety pins, but if you have a thing you're working on, a pattern you're working on and you need to mark the fourth stitch of the row, you can just slide this in there and continue on your work. And then when you come back and you need to join something at that stitch, you know exactly where you were. Um, so you can join it together. So a lot of things that you work in rounds and circles will call for you to mark a stitch. And that's what all those are. The yarn in the yarn needle, um, it's all tied off really well, but we're going to, I mean, you don't want that just hanging there. So we are going to go through a stitch First, you, sorry, let me back up just a second. You wanna decide some patterns it matters and some it doesn't, which side is the right side and the wrong side. You wanna go in the wrong side of whatever it is. Sometimes there is a clear wrong side and right side depending on what you're doing. So we're gonna take the yarn and we're going to just go up through the stitches. Mm. Sorry, my thumb was in your way there. We're just gonna go up some of them. About, it's kind of a judgment, an inch or two. We'll go up those. You don't wanna pull it so hard that it scrunches the yarn up, kind of keep it all. Let me just pull it back out if you went too hard or anything. And then go over a stitch. Um, so it's coming out of here. We're going to go over here to include there and then go back up what you just came down. And that helps grab all the yarn and makes it a little bit more sticky so it doesn't unravel. And technically you would be done here. A lot of people, some people get a little paranoid that that's not enough and that we'll do it one or two more times. But if you went back up the same thing, that should have grabbed all the yarns and you would be good from there. I'm Keaton and my Girl Scout Gold Award is Art for All. And I partnered with the Mustang Public Library to bring art to the public.